was a winter morning. And overnight, soft white snow had covered the landscape. All the animals had come out to play. Connie had woken up very early and gone to pay a visit to her grandmother. Grandma, Grandma, what can I play at today? Well, why don't you make a big colourful pattern in the snow? And how are we going to make it, Grandma? It's very easy. All you have to do is find fruits and plants that are red, yellow, green and blue. That sounds fun. I'm going to start looking right away. Good idea, Connie. I'm sure you'll make a lovely pattern. Connie set out into the woods with a basket to collect colourful fruits and plants, just as her grandma had said. I'll find my friends in the woods and they can help me. Something red, you say? Hmm, let me see. Yes, I think we've got something red. Freddy, why don't you go back to the nest and see if we've got something red? Freddy went into the nest and brought out a blackberry. No, blackberries aren't red. Find something else. So Freddy went back into the nest and pulled out a walnut. No, oh, that isn't red either. Walnuts are brown. So Freddy went back one more time, and this time he pulled out a bright red strawberry. Thanks for your help, Hans. You should come round to my grandma's house for supper when I finish the pattern. You're all invited. Of course we'll come. Thank you, Connie. little bee flew by. Hello, Connie. Are you looking for something? Yes, I am. I need to find something blue. Do you think you could help me, Bertha? <laughs> Do you mean to say you can't see it already? Take a look at the sky. The sky is blue, Connie. I know it is, but I can't put the sky in my basket, can I? Follow me. I know where to find what you're looking for. Look at those little flowers, they're all blue. Oh! Bertha, that tickles! But thank you for helping me find something blue! Connie was very happy. Now all she needed to find was something yellow and something green. Oh, that's a very funny noise. The noise was coming from Snooze the tortoise, who was fast asleep as usual. Connie went to wake him up and ask for help. Connie, nice to see you. What brings you here? Hello, Snooze. I need to find something yellow so I can make a lovely pattern in the snow. At the top of that hill, there's a tree with yellow fruit. Thank you for your help, Snooze. It was a pleasure, Connie. Goody, this tree's full of bright yellow lemons. Connie asked the squirrel if she could help her get some. Of course you can, Connie. <laughs> the squirrel started to shake the tree, and the ripe lemons fell to the ground. Connie was happy, because now she had something yellow. Now she only needed one more colour, and that colour was green. And she was in luck, because Sam the rabbit passed by, pushing a bunch of green grapes through the snow. And as Connie was his friend, he let her have them as a present. I've got all the colours that I needed. But on the way back to Grandma's house, the bunch of grapes fell out of the basket. Mm. What 
very tasty grapes. Connie looked back and saw that Wally was eating her bunch of grapes. Wally, those grapes were for my pattern. Oh, very sorry, Connie. I didn't know those lovely grapes belonged to you. It doesn't matter. I'll just have to find something else that's green. Then Wally remembered. I've got lots of green feathers, Connie. Why don't you have some? <laughs> And right at that moment, Connie's grandma turned up and saw what Connie had found. You found all the colours, red, blue, yellow and green. Well done, Connie. And while the animals played in the snowy woods, Connie and her friends were busy making the pattern in the snow. That's a beautiful pattern. You really are all very clever. Oh, it's such a beautiful pattern. It almost seems a shame that we're going to have to spoil it. Spoil our pattern? But why? Because now it's time to eat the fruit for dinner. Hooray! <laughs> Connie's grandma had shown her that if you want to play, all you need is get up and go and plenty of imagination. 